Liquid Image EGO LS800 Getting to know the Liquid Image Live app Download the app for free through iTunes or the Google Play Store. Search your app store for EGO LS or Liquid Image Live. Start your camera by pressing the Power Mode button on the left hand side. Look for the indicators for Wi-Fi and 4G LTE to be solid on the screen. This indicates that both of these features are ready for use. Turn Wi-Fi on on your mobile device. Locate Direct Camera. Enter the password displayed on the screen here and click Connect. Confirm your connection to your camera on your Wi-Fi menu. Launch the Liquid Image Live app on your mobile phone. After launching the app, select the Connect button. Clicking on the available camera will take you to the home screen of the app. Notice the columns of icons on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. These are the EGO LS indicators for 4G LTE signal, internet connection, and battery power. On the upper left hand side you have your information drawer. Click on this to find information such as your serial number, your app version, your firmware version, and your IMEI number. The gear icon is for your settings drawer. Click on this icon to make your settings for both streaming and recording. Click on the eye and notice that the eye icon moves to the left hand side. Under the camera information settings, you may change the name of the camera, the camera description, and the image. Click on the left hand icon to close the screen. Now we will move to the settings for cloud streaming. Cloud setup must be performed prior to any live streaming. Click Authorize to add a new account to your streaming settings. Input the login and password information for your account. Our cloud is currently showing authorization for YouTube Live. To change which YouTube Live account you are using, click Authorize for a different account. If you wish to change to a private cloud, click on the drop down menu and enter the required information. Under the SD icon, we will make our selections for recording internally to a memory card. Under Mode, you may select between the various video and photo modes. We are currently under the video mode and we may make additional selections for video format and video frame rate. The looping video feature allows your camera to record over previously recorded files when your memory card becomes full. You would use this feature, for example, if you wish to use your Ego LS as a car DVR. A variety of changes may be made under sensor settings, such as your field of view or to flip an image. The microphone level defaults to off. Once you have learned how to set up your camera and perform a live stream, you should make your changes to the microphone level if you wish to have an audio recording. Adjusting the live stream quality may affect your data usage and your battery power. The extended battery setting is intended for live streaming only. You will not be able to record to internal memory. The Ego LS has multiple wireless features. You may access these under the wireless settings menu. The wireless default settings are for streaming over 4G LTE. If you prefer to stream over Wi-Fi, follow the instructions for Wi-Fi streaming. An important step is to change your password for your camera. Click Change on Access Point Password. Low frequency radio is intended for use with accessory items such as a remote control. Bluetooth is useful for pairing with accessory Bluetooth devices. Under the miscellaneous settings icon, you will find LED enable, beep enable, auto off time, restart camera, and shut off camera. The factory settings have a long auto off default time. Once you are familiar with your camera and how to connect to the app, 
you will want to go in and change the auto off time to conserve battery. Click on the gear icon to close the drawer. Moving on to the cloud streaming drawer. To begin a new stream, click on the plus button. In the new live event screen, you can create a title and description for your new live stream. For your initial stream, leave public event and enable DVR unchecked. The title should show your newly created event. If you wish to stream on a previously created event, use the drop down menu to locate the event. Reusing an event is useful if you have shared the link. Press the button that is next to your cloud to activate the live stream. Your cloud streaming is now activated and the icons reflect this. Notice the time code changes and that you have kilobits per second displayed for data. When streaming through YouTube Live, you may utilize the eye icon to see the live feed on YouTube. When you finish live streaming, a screen will pop up and ask if you want to complete the live event. Clicking on Cancel keeps the link available in the drop-down menu so that you may utilize it again. At the end of the row is the Share button. The app has a variety of share options including email, text message, sharing to Facebook, and more. Sending a link through a text message or email allows another person to view the live feed on their mobile device. The link may simultaneously be shared on a tablet or a computer. There is no limit to the number of people or devices that the link may be shared to. The fastest way to share the link to a large audience is to post it to one of your social networks. The partially open lock icon indicates that your stream is unlisted. When live streaming to YouTube Live through the Liquid Image Live app, the default is for the live stream to be unlisted. However, sharing it out to a social network site such as Facebook or Twitter allows the live stream to be viewed by all of your followers. If you wish to change from unlisted to a public event, you will do this in the new live event window. On the home screen, the bottom SD icon drawer is where you will make your recordings. Notice that the settings choices we made earlier are now displayed. We will start recording in 720p video mode at 60 frames per second. If you wish to make changes to the type of recording, close this drawer and go back to the gear icon. Select SD and then select the type of recording you would like to make. The LED indicator on the camera will change from blue to purple to indicate our mode change. Close the settings drawer, return to the SD drawer, and begin your recording. Our continuous photo mode is currently set to take a picture every two seconds. Stop your recording and then click on the thumbnail to view your recorded files. Select any files you wish to delete and then click on the trash can. The icons on the top left allow you to toggle between the photos and the videos. Video clips may be trimmed and the trimmed portion may be downloaded. After downloading any files, you may navigate out to your photos and videos on your phone. Locate and view any files you have downloaded, then share them if you would like. It is possible to both live stream and record at the same time. In addition to that, the live stream may be recorded in your cloud depending on your cloud selection. Recording internally to a memory card will yield a higher definition file. However, a cloud recording is easily shared and serves as a backup in case your camera is ever stolen or damaged. Pressing the help button on the app will give you access to the quick start guide. Press and hold the power mode button to power down your Ego LS. This demonstration utilized both iOS and Android screenshots. Some screens may vary from what you see on your device. Life is live. Stream it.